now is Congressman Adam Kinzinger, member of the House Foreign Relations Committee and a Jeb Bush supporter. Great to have you on The Real Story. Okay, so, so Jeb Bush, wow, he spends a lot of dough in New Hampshire. I think we calculated it that for every vote it was 1200 bucks. Was it worth it? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, we got a lot of supporters, a lot of people willing to write checks to the campaign. And uh, he's going to come out of uh, New Hampshire with a lot of momentum into South Carolina, which South Carolina is natural Jeb territory. It's a very high percentage of veterans. Jeb has 12 Living Medal of Honor recipients that have endorsed him and a number of general officers. So he's going in very strong to South Carolina. I'm going to go there this weekend to campaign for him. And uh, we feel really good about it. We came out of New Hampshire strong. Okay, so the other really interesting thing is a lot of people were saying, wow, he finally brought his mom on the trail, Barbara Bush. Maybe that helped in New Hampshire. But where the heck is his brother, former President George W. Bush? Well, now people are saying he is going to campaign for him in South Carolina. Can you confirm that? It seems like he is. Uh, I can't confirm on behalf of the campaign anything, but we saw the commercials he did, and uh, and frankly, he's coming out there. You know, at the beginning, people said, oh, you know, George W. is going to be a liability. The family name is. And what I think Jeb has come to realize and what we've come to realize is people admire the Bushes. Jeb calls, you know, George H.W. the greatest man alive, a fantastic president. His right. brother was a fantastic president. So uh, this is a benefit to Jeb, well, and we're excited about South well, Carolina. How, how do you get around the fact that in the exit polls last night, most of the people said they didn't want to go for experience. They wanted to go for the political outsider. Yeah, look, it's an interesting campaign cycle. A lot of my predictions have been wrong, and I think in the early stages, people kind of want to have their anger heard. The difference, though, is you have a candidate like Donald Trump, which just really stirs people's anger and yells things and uses curse words, or you have a guy like Jeb Bush that says, look, I understand your anger, but here's a path out of that, and here's a way that we can get to a point where we don't have to be angry because America's a great country. And that's starting to really pick up momentum. Early on, people want to make that anger heard. Now they're realizing we can be angry but also look for a way out, and that's what Jeb's providing. All right. Well, last night, some of the angry folks still liked it because Trump won a big. But We'll see what happens in the next state. Congressman, thank you.